que cose l'amor chi vuol vincere che sferza sulla mente sulla ghiaia del viale del tramonto Ooh la la. What is she doing here? What do you mean? I came here with you. <gasps> and here I am. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our home? Uh, excuse me, sorry. You're too early. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, Victoria? Look, uh, this is all just a misunderstanding. <laughs> Well, then I want this misunderstanding to get out of here. Victoria, he'll move out. I swear he will. Stop, no more promises. I've had it up to here with them. <sighs> you told me your brother would only be staying for a week. You promised to talk to Herman about becoming a sous chef, and you also promised to pick up your socks. Well, first of all, look, I actually do pick up my socks, and Herman and I already talked. Yeah, when? It was today. Uh, I mean, last night. Uh, I wanted to tell you about it today. And? What did he say? Oh, he said that he was also interested in having a sous chef like me. You swear? The truth is, of course I haven't talked to anyone. Because it's easy to just say, I want to be a sous chef. If you think about it, a sous chef is actually the kitchen's chief. While the head chef is up in the clouds trying to conceive new concepts, new recipes, the sous chef is on the ground covering his back, taking all the responsibility for anything that involves how the kitchen runs. Right, Nadine, spaghetti carbonara, Kamal, onion soup, Mike, entrecote with... Bouillabaisse? Bacon! Anyway, being a restaurant sous chef isn't just hard, it's super hard. Rognon for table five! <sighs> Look, I'm already running out of hands with all the dang rognons. To make matters worse, if for some reason you have your old boss under your command, the job turns into the worst it can get, a living hell. Victor, hello there. Would you please take rognon de bola cream? Leo, if what you want me to actually cook is veal kidneys and sour cream, then it's pronounced as rognon de veal a la creme. I have no idea how to cook the thing that you just said. So, I'll be out for a smoke. Would you like me to knock? Yeah, thanks. I'll just, uh, I mean, I'm, I'd like to have a talk. Hmm. After you. Well then, I'm all ears. Uh, at last. I mean, alas, there's no sous chef. I wanna try for it, maybe? If you wouldn't mind, of course. You? No means no, okay. I mean, why not? You might be the one I'm looking for. Someone young and confident just like you. Yes, you could be a sous chef. You don't seem too happy. Well, I'm not only confident and young, but I'm also very reserved. I'm a serious worker. How about Victor takes over as sous chef instead? Because, well, he's older, he has more experience, plus I can't do it anymore. Why is he not doing what you tell him? <sighs> I'm sorry, Leo. Regardless of the fact that Victor is much older and more experienced, he's still your subordinate. If he's disobeying you and being difficult, then punish Victor. I should punish Victor? Yes. Who's being naughty? Huh? Who's being naughty? Ah, stop it, please! Who's been a naughty, I naughty chef? Huh? Ah, 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 ah. No, I don't think that. Uh, there's no way. Leo, you need to do this for his own good. It's normal. If he's not disciplined, he might just get into more trouble again. Oh, by the way, tomorrow Nicholas is here for lunch with his business partner. He wants to have Norwegian king crab, so make sure it's fresh and prepared nicely. And try to be more strict with him. With a crab? Huh? Come on, don't be shy. Colleagues! A minute of your attention. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to our new sous chef. I know you have all known Max longer than I have. So make him feel welcome. Now bow to the ground, for we are in the presence of the sous chef! Oh. Yo, Max, what's up? 
Filthy swine, do not speak to the sous chef like that. It seems that dear Max finally battled his way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got some good news of my own. I want to rent my own place. Mm. You got the cash for it? Sold some organs? No, however, mom sent me some. Here's a thousand dollars. Now go rent your own place. For a pricey one? For a cheap one. This is for the first and last month. And don't tell Max. Mmm, awesome. Yeah, I've found a few options. Gonna check them out now. See you, bro. See you then. Yo, sucker. Left something? How did you do that? Using magic. You're an easy target for pickpocketing. I'll hold the envelope as a favor. Find a place, you get it back. Fine. Uh, Mr. Sushef, here's your first task on the job. Since we need to reduce the amount of staff, please find a cook to get rid of. Can be anyone. Uh, it's up to you. I know you'll make the right choice. I thought you wanted to be a sous chef. King Crab, right? Are you sure? Hundred percent. The most royal one there is. Just look into its eyes, gleaming with nobility. What's the matter? You can trust me. Even kings and queens aren't as royal as this crab. <laughs> uh, Victor, are you perhaps available now? Please go out there and help Tim with unloading. Oh, not right now, though. It's just vitally important for me to have a smoke. Ask this guy. He's still alive. He'll help out. <laughs> Victor, excuse me. Huh? I'm so fed up with all your funny business. Please put down your goddamn coffee and help him with the unloading. Son, what is wrong with you? I'm not your son. I am Chef Leo. And would you be so kind as to obey my orders? Fine, will do. Why so loud? And I'll be docking your pay. You know what? You go out for smoke breaks way too often. Well, in order to fire someone useless, you have to find someone useless. Dude, can we talk for a minute? We are reducing the staff. I'm sorry, no offense. Please don't pick me. I'm begging you. I have a family and kids. Look, I understand that. I've got debts. I'm begging you, don't fire me. Have mercy on me. Please, I, I'm on I my I understand. You don't need to wait, fire wait. me. Wait, wait, what you Please. doing? Get up, get up. Stop it. Look, it's gonna be fine. I'm uh, not gonna fire you, I promise. Uh -huh. I just wanted to tell you that you're, uh, su such a pro, you hear me? The downsizing won't affect you. All right, so you just keep on working. Go on, doing great. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. <sighs> so, how was your first day as sous chef? Herman wants me to fire someone from the kitchen, but I can't do it. Well, it's not like you have to outright fire someone to get rid of them. I've heard that Arcobaleno needs cooks. You mean I should send him to our competitor? No, not send. You recommend him. Victoria, <laughs> you're a genius. Mm. Oh, by the way, my mom sent Dennis a few bucks. He's gonna be moving out soon. No way. Then God bless your dear mama. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of more days and the problem is finally fixed. <laughs> Just...
Am I interrupting? Feeling a bit lighter? Cool. Please forgive me bothering you, Your Majesty. There we go, Leo. What did you expect? An eye for an eye, and a claw for a claw. Hey. Victor, why are you still awake? What, you want to dock me for not sleeping now? Hey, man. Yeah, it sucks. Herman went totally nuts over it. He said he'd be cutting everybody's salary starting from next month. So we're apparently supposed to work more but get paid less, you believe that? Hey there. Max, hold on. Was that all true, what you said about our salary? Zip it, keep it down. Nobody knows yet. This stays between you and me. Mm -hmm. Actually, I heard that Arcobaleno is hiring cooks. But they want to see V as soon as possible. But I'm on my shift. I'll cover for you. Get a move on. Yo, what about us? Sure thing, Mr. Nicholas. I got you. Leo, huh? the guests are here. Go get the crab out. Uh-huh. On it. Ah, uh, Kamal, prepare the marinade. Leo, what, did you shit your pants or is that your crab? Helena, pardon me. There's a problem. What's going on? Seems like the crab's gone off. It doesn't just seem off. It's all rotten. How about you just give it a quick shower? Victor, can you please? Last one, sorry. Leo, the fridge is turned off. What the? That's impossible. I never would have expected this from you. The cost for that crab is $200, and it's going to come out of your paycheck. Boy, oh boy. What are we supposed to serve Mr. Nicholas now? What am I going to tell him? <laughs> Leo, can you put that damn crab away? The stench is terrible. Leo, hold it there. Do we have any crab sticks here? What is that, a joke? Not a joke. I'm saving your relationship with the boss. Can you find crab sticks or not? Sure I can, if I have to. Attention, everyone! Leo, work on that crab. Have it gutted clean and wash the claws with some hot lemon water. Mike, come on, get moving. Find us some crab sticks and finally chop them into tiny little bits. Helena, please find us some ginger sauce. You know what you're doing? Before I was reassigned here as a mere humble cook, I worked my ass off for 10 years as a head chef. What are you waiting for? Didn't you hear me? Get back to work! There's a story about this Japanese culinary legend. The chef of Emperor Horikawa found out that the crabs they had went off just before the big feast. He was about to commit seppuku, but the chef figured that he wanted to live. So he had the idea to swap out the crab meat with some minced cod. And what about crab sticks? Leo, can you imagine if he had crab sticks during that time? It would have been so much easier for him to stay alive. I swear to God, when I heard what he said back there, I almost fell off the crapper. Well, speak of the devil, there he is. Did somebody call up a meeting? Spit it out, rookie. What's happening with our paychecks next month? They're just gonna kick us out on our naked bum bums, yeah? Guys, what are you talking about? Go. Yeah. How about we ask Herman about this directly? Yeah. No, no, stop. You don't have to resort to that. I'll talk to Herman myself. I'll make sure he doesn't cut any of your salaries. Yes? Uh, may I please come in, Herman? Yes, please, come in. It's fine. Well, how's the sous chef life? It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I fired a cook. Here's his resignation. Really? Mm-hmm. Right. He's quitting of his own will, is he? 
You know, I have to say, I really underestimated you. I appreciate it. And what's with the demonstration forming in front of my window? What demonstration? That one out there. The thing is, I was about to tell you this. Mm-hmm. The staff wants you to let them arrange sports breaks during work. Yeah, is that so? For what sport? The physical ones? Gymnastics or something. Standing all day is bad, lots of pressure on the spine. Would be nice to go out and warm up for five minutes. That refreshes you. Then you're good. All right then, no objection. But you're in control of what happens. So the gymnastics better not turn into makeshift smoke breaks. Mm-hmm. And so? Your sous chef did what you asked him to. Salary stayed the same. No one's gonna be leaving, so your bare bum bum can stay right where it is. You're the shit. I've always said that rookie was the shit since he came here. How did you swing that? Easy peasy. Like I said, guys, you cut the paycheck down, the whole team walks out of here. Ah, and then? It was him versus all of us. He backed down easy. Time to get back to work? Get moving, people! Mr. Max said get back to work. Do your jobs, guys! Voila! Norwegian crab in propria persona. Just about. May I take it out now? Oh, don't ask me. You should ask the sous chef if it's ready. Excuse me, Leo. May she take it now? Just take it already. Mm. So, the crab was good, guys. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Much obliged. You can't drink mastery away. I've tried to, but I kept failing. Uh, Mr. Sushev, in recognition of my triumph, may I perhaps request for a smoke break? Oh, I appreciate it so much. And I hope that nothing goes off while I'm away. <laughs> well, as our captain used to say, nothing else unites the team better than a pouring storm. Or when pouring booze. <laughs> Guys, what's happening here? What's this impromptu party in the middle of work? They're celebrating you, of course. The sous chef that fought back and screwed the chef. <laughs> Max, don't you think it's time to ask for a pay raise like we deserve? Huh? As they all say, just take the ball and then run with it, right? <laughs> Come on, you guys, what do you mean pay raise? Is this a joke? Wrap it up, let's go back in. It's time to do what we're here to do. We're losing our leader. No worries, we'll handle this. Come on, fellow kings, let's get our dough. Uh, buddies, buddies, all right. I was going to keep it a secret. Guess I have to tell you now. I negotiated with Herman and got you all a bonus. Here you go. So open your pockets wide. Uh huh. <laughs> Everyone, come and take your share. Uh huh. <laughs> come to Papa. Straight cash. Nice. Oops. All right. <laughs> Hello. Gotta admit, I'm afraid to ask this, but what's going on here? Hmm. Ah, we just—it's our gymnastics break time, right, buds? Now, guys, line up, just like I showed you. Get into your assigned positions. You stand here, you're here, uh-huh. Let's start with some side bends. Right and left. Arthur, follow me. Come on, Theodore. Then you twist the head. Warm up, you guys. Well, uh, Max, let's... what gymnastics? We're out here smoking, bro. Easy. That's exactly what I thought. You were picking for gymnastics, but in reality, you just wanted some extended smoke breaks. Max, what kind of gymnastics did we beg for? What are you, nuts? And the demonstration by my office this morning. May I ask what that was about? We were protesting for our paychecks against the planned salary cuts. Thanks, by the way. You thought I was planning to cut your salaries? Whoever gave you that idea? Chef Herman, guys, wait a sec. Give me a chance to explain. How about you let me? I'll explain what's happening here. First of all, you pulled a trick on the team. Your friends. Well, that's all fine, but unfortunately, you've made a fool of me, which is a little bit worse. Anyway, you're no longer the sous chef. 
And for as long as I'm around, I don't think you'll ever be. And, uh, as for all of you, if you're not back in the kitchen in the next few seconds, I'll definitely cut your salary. I'll take half of it. Hey, guys. Snake tongue. Charlatan. Disappointing. I was about to like you, almost. Yeah, Max. That performance wasn't very convincing. Max! Give me the money. I found a place. Dennis, listen. I'm sorry, but I spent it all. What did you do? Oh my god, you're shameless. Victoria, keep your shirt on. It's not your money. Well, actually... I'm sorry, don't get me wrong, Leo. Today's situation proved that you have a lot more things to learn. Yeah. Oh, I get the point. I think that it would be more than fair if the position of sous-chef went to Chef Victor instead. He's a lot more experienced. Remember, it wasn't me. You're the one who said that. Yeah, yes, I agree. Come on, Leo, don't be sad. You used to be my sous chef, remember? Now you can be my sous, sous chef, right? Hey, you, do you have a lighter? Nope. Whoa! Hey, my lighter! Where was it? It was where you last left it. Inside the refrigerator. Why didn't you say anything? Now what would I do that for? You'd just get fired. You wouldn't survive without a job. You'd be drinking and you'd just have another stroke. You're so noble, huh? You're this upstanding guy and I'm just some asshole. I'm gonna tell you where you ought to put that holier-than-thou crap. They docked you $200, didn't they? Here, 30 bucks. You're getting the rest tomorrow. Where are you going? To Helena! I'll confess everything to her. Or did you think you were the only one, Mr. King of all nobility? <laughs> Helena, make Leo the sous chef again. Huh? And why would I? Well... For educational reasons. Yes, he screwed up. These things happen. But you make him see that you absolutely trust him, and he'll learn. They'll punish him. Well, I'm not really sure about that. He'll be your responsibility. All right, deal. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on him. He's like a brother to me. Try to imagine our lives like this, as if they were railroads with ourselves acting as our own switchmen. It's up to us to decide whether our trains run through the shafts of lies or stand upon the rails of truth. I lied. To who? Everybody, I guess. I was the one who switched off the fridge so that the crab would get all spoiled. Now it's all up to you. That's everything. On a train, the main thing is to remember that it's easy to hit a dead end. And you might have to backtrack to get somewhere. <laughs>